All right, Pong 5 was a bit more work. We ended up actually refactoring our code base to use object-oriented programming, or a little taste thereof. A little bit different than, you know, having a bunch of variables keeping track, a little more procedural style as before, much like how C actually is written. Um, but the way we structure things now is more akin to what you might see in Java or what you might see in C Sharp or even in Python, depending on what code base you're working on. A little bit easier to keep track of multiple things moving around, and games in particular are very sort of prone to this model of programming. Now, this is a little bit of a break, it's a little bit of a simpler um, iteration in the Pong track. We're going to be taking a look just at implementing a simple FPS marker at the top left of the screen. And to do that, you can see there it's written in green text. It uses the same font, same size as the text at the top of the screen. But this is literally just going to use a simple function built into love that just tells us what our frame rate is currently at. And so here are a couple of the functions in particular that we're going to look at. So love.window.setTitle. So this one is not germane to what we've just talked about. But if you've noticed, so far at the very top, we've had untitled but now, as is shown in this particular example, we have the word Pong actually written there. So this is a little bit of a cleanup, just something that looks better if you're running your game in a windowed setting. So we're going to be doing that. It literally just sets the title to a string, whatever you want it to be. More germane to what we've talked about is love.timer.getFPS, which is just going to return as a float the FPS value of our game. So very simple, very straightforward. And that's pretty much it. So let's go actually go right into the code here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom. And what we're going to do is just render this to the screen. So just, we know we want a string rendered to the top left. All I'm going to do really is I just need to insert something right here. Basically, after everything else is rendered, I want to display the FPS. Now, I don't want to get into the habit of just kind of writing a bunch of code in place inside these methods. I think this would be more suited to a function. So let's say I want to display FPS like that. And I'm calling it like you might have seen in C, just a very simple sort of procedural function call. Because what I'm going to do is just write it here in main.lua itself. So I'm going to say function display FPS. I'm not even going to have it take a parameter. This is going to be very straightforward. I'm going to say love.graphics.setColor. And now this, actually, I don't think we've taken a look at either. We've talked, taken a look at love.graphics.clear. Love.graphics.setColor is very, sim very um, similar to that, only this actually toggles the color for things like drawing text to the screen, which by default, everything, as you've noticed, is white. So we're going to say love.graphics.setColor. I want this to be green. So again, it's RGB alpha. So the G component is what we care about. So I'm going to say 0 for the red. Uh, let's say 255. Well, rather, we'll, we'll skip the 255 stuff. We'll just say 0, 1 for full green, 0 for the blue, and 1 for the alpha. Then I'm going to say love.graphics.setFont of small font, and love.graphics.print. And then we'll say our FPS is going to be, um, and we'll, we need to get the FPS. So in order to do that, I'm going to say to string love.timer.getFPS as a function call. And we need this to string method. This is very important because this is going to actually give us a integer value. And this value is going to be incompatible with adding to a string. You might actually notice that we have this dot dot here. This dot dot is the string concatenation operator. So this just means we add two strings together, one, and then tail it at the end of the other one. You probably touched on this in uh, C throughout the course. Now, it's a different operator in uh, in Lua. In Python, it's a plus, And in C, uh, well, you can't really do that with C. You have to use uh, something else altogether. But what we're going to do is say FPS, concatenate with that. And then we're going to, let's just draw this, let's say, at 40 and 4. Actually, no, we'll do it at, uh, yeah, 40 and 20. And that's it. And then last one last thing I do want to do, actually, is set everything back to white as the default color for whenever it draws the next thing, the paddles and the text and whatnot. So I'm going to say 1111 at the end of that. And if we run the code here, we do indeed see we have an FPS uh, display at the top of the screen. And it started off at 49. It's a little bit of a weird thing. Love actually has to get a, a little bit of frame data so that it can calculate what the FPS is, because it actually tracks it across multiple frames. That's why at first it was 0, then 49, and now it is smoothly at 60. Thankfully, my computer is strong enough to run this very simple, um, barely functioning 
Pong example. So that was it for Pong 6, very simple. Um, in the next update, we're gonna take something a little bit meatier um, on our hands, the collision update. So, so far the ball does not actually collide with the paddle at all. It just will go straight through it because we have no code to test for whether the ball and the paddle have intersected. So we're gonna add this major change to the code base in the next section and start talking about collision with Pong 7.